Hey everyone, and welcome to Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We are here to share in a spectacular day. We're gonna just kind of look around, have a fun time, try some food, it's gonna be great. Art of Animation, Walt Disney World, across the way from Pop, Pop Century. Let's go in there, give it a try. Disney's Art of Animation Resort is all about, as you guessed it, Art of Animation. Yeah, it's, it's in the name right there. I love this resort. You can see some of your favorite characters and how they're drawn, basically as you make your way into the lobby. Already have an order in for Landscape of Flavor. Let's go check it out. I just love the decor inside of Art of Animation. I want to take this opportunity to kind of show you just a bit more of this amazing resort. Kind of starting off with this amazing chandelier here, which if you look very carefully is made of like drawings, a little mermaid, you see a Lion King in there, a little jungle book. They got uh, some great kind of drawings up there. I'm going over some of the classics. Walking in this direction, we're at the ink and paint shop now, and you can see there's lots of ink and paint all over the place. Love the decor in here. We're gonna take a closer look in just a bit. We're headed in for landscape of flavor for some food. Got a few items to try, and I also got the uh, what's called pickle in a pouch. I thought that was kind of funny. We're gonna go check it out, see if it, uh, if it's good. You can see some of the uh, drink options here at Art of Animation. I kind of want to show you some of the differences. I got my mug here. You can see Gold Peak Tea. And they've got some of the classics like Diet Coke and Coke Zero, regular Coke. They've also got uh, the Zero Sugar Minute Man. I want to show you some more that they have here. And Diet Sprite or Sprite Zero right there as well, along with Barks Root Beer. I know that some people are looking for those specialty machines, those specialty Coke machines, which I love. They are not here. Now we've got a lot of delicious looking items here. Pickle in a pouch. Very interesting. I'm going to be taking a bite of that in a minute. Also got the chicken stir fry here, which I've been told is really good. We're going to give this just a small bite, try with friends, of course. I want to make sure we uh, give this a try. I'll just take one bite of that. We've also got the tandoori chicken here, which looks good. Not as good as the stir fry, though. We're going to try all three you know what I think. So I've tried just about everything, except for the pickle. Pickle's gonna go in a minute. Tandoori chicken, dry, dry chicken. Rice has a little bit of that salty flavor in it, a little bit of the butter. The um, chicken itself, though, is like super dry. Really wouldn't go out of my way for that one. The uh, stir fry chicken, the outer flavor is good. You got that sesame flavor on the outside, which is good, and then it just kind of falls right apart. And when I say falls apart, I mean the flavor just kind of dies. It's, again, dry in the middle. Wouldn't go out of my way for either one, but that's what we do here. You know, we test out the different food options. I let you know what's good, what I recommend, what I don't. I wouldn't go out of the way for either of these. Uh, and instead I'd go for maybe a burger. The burgers are good, I know that. So I, things I know are good, you know, I, I can tell you are good. But those two, I would actually skip. I'd skip both of them. Uh, pickle I will try right now and let you know. Now this venue is actually really cool. They got like the clouds almost from Toy Story there. You can see like you're under the sea with Little Mermaid here. These uh, kiosks all around to have like coffee and water and all the different refill stations, utensils that you'll need. And you go over to the uh, main section of the dining room and you can see the mobile order pickup, which is where I just was, along with uh, many of the other kiosks that are available for ordering your favorites. Again, for landscape of flavor, I recommend those burgers. I think you're gonna have better luck with the burgers. Disney knows how to do burgers really well, but they do have some uh, very special desserts as well, including the macaron for the 50th anniversary and uh, some of those cupcakes as well. Mobile order available like most places around Walt Disney World. Is it gonna be faster than standard order? Usually I would say yes, usually yes. Now they've got all sorts of prepackaged pastries here for those uh, who want a little sweet tooth filled. I, I think I remember they used to have milkshakes here, but I have not seen them at all, so. I'm gonna say they're not here anymore. Here inside Landscape of Flavor, they've got the pressed penny collectible pennies. And I gotta tell you, I'm really interested in starting my collection again. I got some uh, some little uh, little bifold that I've got to actually make my pressed pennies. We'll be doing that video before you know it. Looking around here, you can see more of the jungle area here. I love how these lights kind of reflect the area so well. And then Savannah pictures going all the way around. Now, as we go back through with the uh, ink and paint shop, you can see the whole place Looks like it's, of course, full of ink and paint. And tons of merchandise you've seen, most of it. One of these new years that I really like, happy birthday with the cupcake on top. Imagine walking around the parks with that birthday set of ears on. That is spectacular. Art of Animation Resort, 
with Ariel right there. Love that. And you've got these magnets here. Perfect to bring home with you. $12.99. Some prints as well. Oh, a kid's art of animation shirt. Didn't notice that before. Got little books for coloring for our small animators. The shirt's $19.99. Let's see. Oh, yes, here we are. Some more uh, art of animation shirts here. This one's $24.99. And the light green with Ariel and Flounder right there. That's a spectacular one. Price of this one, $29.99. I think of the shirts available for Art of Animation, this is probably my favorite. Kind of the blue, like the dark, dark, dark blue up to the lighter blue, $29.99. Love that one. That's, yeah, that's the best, the specific shirts that I've seen. They've also got these mugs as well. Some of your favorite characters. Some of them have been drawn, uh, colored in. Others are not been uh, finished quite yet, so maybe you can finish them. But $29.99 for these plastic mugs. Now you can see a warm night here at Art of Animation. They've got a lot of people enjoying the pool. I believe it's called the Big Blue Pool. I think so. I think it is. You can see tons and tons of guests enjoying it together. Super well themed, especially for a value resort here at Walt Disney World. You can see Crush, and you're kind of being surrounded by the Big Blue Ocean all around you. Love that sunset here at Art of Animation. But you can see a little bit of a crowded pool with great theming. Walking around Big Blue now, you can see those fish are scattered throughout the entire resort, actually scaling the buildings here to kind of uh, really immerse you in the theme. Of this, uh, I know it's a value resort, but to, to me, it's like value plus. And Disney's categories on those are changing. No question about it, but here's Crush three-story crush. In my opinion, one of the best reasons to stay at Pop Century or Art of Animation is the Skyliner. Right here, a Generation Gap Bridge as you make your way to Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and even other resorts like the Riviera. Now here at Disney's Riviera Resort, I wanted to talk more about my feelings in terms of the Disney experience with friends and family. I've had the opportunity to experience it with family over the last few, uh, few weeks here, which have been great. And, you know, I, I really, I've been thinking about this. And since moving to Florida, the experience for me has continued to update and change. And I spoke about it in an earlier video about living here for three years and all that. And now I feel it even more. And it's, it's not a bad feeling at all. It's a good feeling, actually. I had the opportunity to experience Disney over and over again when you reintroduce family and friends to it. I remember some of those solo trips we did together. And I got to tell you, I was thinking back on them. It's like, those were, those were cool. I'm really glad we did those. It was fun but there's something special about experiencing it with, with friends and family. You know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have to be anyone in particular. You know, I've, I've had the, I go to Disney all the time. I go with myself so, a lot. I go with family sometimes, friends sometimes. Disney is best with friends and family. Pay that right now. For no other reason than you have the opportunity to enjoy each other's company and each other's reactions to different attractions, for example. You know, that, that's what, that's what makes it special, you know, and this isn't, this isn't anything new, you know, you know this, I'm just, I'm just putting a different spin on it in terms of how I see it, right? My perspective has changed. It continues to evolve, I think is the best way to put it. And evolving perspectives, I think are important, but when you're at Disney and you're experiencing it with friends and family, there's something extra special about it. It's a beautiful night here at Disney's Riviera Resort. Took that Skyliner over, do love it. Spectacular. Did you know you can actually, um, through Disney, get a fishing excursion on this waterway right here? I've seen people in little pontoon boats fishing. So I'm guessing they stock this waterway with fish for the sport. It's interesting, right, to think about? I, I would, I, I haven't been fishing in years, probably, Probably would need some practice before I did that, but it's great to know there are all these unique excursions outside the parks that you can experience. That's what they're called, the, for Coke freestyle machines. Now I know, good to remember. It's where you have the opportunity to get your favorite drink, for example, root beer, and then add like flavor to it, like vanilla for root beer, or you can get like Diet Coke with like cherry and stuff. Like the, the number of options are amazing. I really wish these were at every resort, especially with those resort refillable mugs. They're, they're, oh, they're, uh, they work for two weeks, which is great, but more of these machines would be great. Now, another one of the topics that I wanted to talk about today was the confusion at when you're going on a Disney vacation. Uh, the park reservation system, you already know my feelings about it. I think it's got to go personally, but you know, I think it causes a lot of confusion when it comes to Walt Disney World. I think that's something that I hope Disney changes in the future. You know that. The, um, the virtual queue, I'm a huge fan of it because 
you know, you don't have to wait in these four hour, three hour lines. I, I think it's a good thing, but I also am on the side where it's like, it also causes massive confusion. People walk and they have no idea what they're doing. Disney's been getting better at that, kind of letting guests know that's what they need to do. So I think that's one of the things that, you know, it, I, I think it does help, I really do. So, uh, you know, well, on the fence of that, I can understand both sides of it, but I, I think that virtual queue does more positive than negative, Michael's opinion. There's another thing that I think kind of plays into it. If you look at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, at the time that this is being filmed, uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party has not filled up a single day. And it took me by surprise. I gave it several days. I was like, all right, maybe it's a glitch. Who knows? But the reality is I think there's two possible scenarios for why that has happened. Scenario one, Disney has increased the capacity for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, so much so that the first day and Halloween night have both not sold out. Scenario two, uh, you know what, three scenarios. Scenario two, not that many people know about it yet. I don't think that's likely, not at all. Scenario three, not as many people are coming. And I think that's probably the most likely. Why is that? Cost, inflation, a lot of different things, right? Things that, you know, that just so many pieces of it. Is that the reason? If it is, I think that Disney, again, as I've been saying and saying and saying and saying and saying, and I mean, you know, we'll see if I get proven right in the long term, the, the tactic of guests coming less frequently and raising the prices of everything, I don't think is sustainable. How many times have I said that? A lot of times. So I think that this is a good example of that. We'll see what happens in the long term. Maybe they'll start selling out before you know it. But it's interesting to me that this has happened. And I don't think we've seen it like this before. Usually that first day and usually Halloween night start to sell out pretty fast. Maybe it's too early. Maybe not enough guests know about it. Maybe they've increased the capacity, but it also could be the fact that not as many guests are able to come as frequently because of the huge price increases. Let me know what you think. I wanna hear, uh, do you think that's the reason? Is that, you know, are you not coming to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party? Let us know why in the comments. You know, it's, it's just an interesting thought experiment. There's a little bit of haze in the air, as you can tell. There's fireworks at Epcot going off right now. We're gonna be able to see one or two. Yep, sure enough. As we're making our way back to the gondola, fireworks views. Some guests are actually standing here and enjoying them. Look at this. I didn't realize how good of a view this is. This is a great view. Wow. All right, secrets of Disney. Catch the uh, fireworks right from here. And with that, we're gonna make our way off for the night. Thanks so much for sharing in it with me. It means so much to be able to share it all with you. A huge thanks to our patrons for making it all possible. And until next time, have a magical day and see you real soon.